welcome back to auto 3 garage as you can see i will be working on my e320 i will be changing the window regulator uh it had went out on me like several months ago about nine to ten months ago it had went on me the cable had broke and i just been using wood to keep it propped up uh two months ago i had bought uh a whole frame piece which is this piece right here and it was the wrong size so good thing i have the extra for the uh passenger side so that has not came to waste i was a little disappointed but anyway i waited uh to do it so i'm gonna do it today i'm going to get everything put back together because i will be uh using this mercedes uh the tow so anyway enough with the talking let's get into the video let me show you how to do this so guys as you can see i have uh the rear uh driver's side uh frame uh, window regulator uh right here uh what we're gonna do right now is just change this motor over uh to the uh, next we have a t27 probably can't see it but this is a a star bit we have a, a t27 so let's change this over to uh the new one as you can see you got two bolts right here we're gonna break it i'm gonna break it off i can't hold my phone but i'm gonna break it off as you can see, we got the motor off. Only thing you had to do is just remove these two screws. Uh, you cut when it's right here in position, just twist it, and uh, it should pop out. All right, guys. So we finally switched the motor uh, from there uh, to our new bracket, as you can see. So it's now time to install. Let's go. So, guys, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna end up uh, snaking in in this tab right here you won't in this hole right here. And uh, once that, we're gonna uh, hook up our window, like this all the way down, uh, side the window all the way down, and we go from there. So make sure uh, this tab right here lines up in this hole right here, and all your holes uh, line up. So we got one, uh, two, and three. Once you drill these holes out right here, you're gonna uh, put uh, new rivets in. So from here, and uh, down here. As you can see, guys, I already got it in. Took me a little bit, but we're gonna put rivets in uh, right here. One, uh, two, and three. But before we, before you do that, make sure you roll your window all the way down carefully. You can uh, manually uh, put it down uh, to this tab. Uh, once you hook it up, roll this white piece down first, then uh, roll your window down and have it loose so you can slide this piece uh, inside that groove right there, uh, as you can see. And then we're gonna uh, put in the retaining clip uh, right there in the two squares. But I know before you will have to um, press it in to get it out. But the way you put it in is just basically reverse order. You're just removing all your trim, uh, drilling out these holes right here. Um, taking this tab out sliding it out uh, once you have everything drilled out push this window up and then unplug everything turn it and then slide it out but as you can see let me put this on and then uh get some rivets and uh, go from there so i am using uh the one eighth this one right here got this from uh, o'reilly's if you ever need uh rivets or rivet kit or whatever use these right here as you can see, I got my three, and I'm gonna um, hook her up. So guys, there's four rivets you had to uh, put in, uh, one here, there, there, and there. So I forgot the four, so dis disregard the three that I kept saying right here, uh, there, and there, but it's all four. You got four, one, two, three, and four uh, rivets to put in. So anyway, I got my rivets put in. I got the retaining clip down here. Uh, put in so the window won't slide uh, out of place um, but it's in good position the thing is real sturdy as you can see but this is how you put in the window regulator um, frame uh, with the motor uh, it's not really hard once you take off your uh, trim like unscrewing the nut getting like uh, a screw out from like the bottom end and behind the door handle once you get everything off and you come right here all you gotta do is drill out these rivets right here uh get a screw flathead screwdriver push in that uh clip right here push it down and just get the other side out 
uh, slide this window all the way up. Uh, just slide that bad boy out and unplug everything. Just swap in a new one. Uh, it's pretty easy. Um, but that's all. That's it for this video. I'm gonna just put the trim and all that back in. I'll probably just record an aftermath. But I do want to show y'all that it rolls up and everything with uh, ease and no issues. Window is done. Finna put the trim on, you will see the aftermath. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure to subscribe uh, for more and like this video. I really appreciate it. Uh, real simple. This is a uh, Mercedes Benz. Got a little bit of stuff uh, we got to do on there. If you didn't watch the recent video, watch the recent video. Finna go take this car out and go get it clean. And I'll uh, see you later. Peace out. So I have the door panel on, as you can see. I gotta get a screw up behind here, but everything is back to place. I added this uh, white LED light on the bottom side. So I have to put LEDs on other like this. I want the one type with the Mercedes logo show. You see a difference. See how it's yellow. When you come around with people, this is like white. That's pretty cool. So I'm gonna have to some LED lights. But yeah, that was pretty much it. Like I said, if y'all uh, want more, uh, please like the video and subscribe. Um, I'm gonna do some leather um, treatment on these seats. Uh, Cause the leather is in perfect condition and all that. Um, I gotta vacuum all this, this car out too. I just washed it, that's it. Um, I'm gonna vacuum it out and go a real hand with it. But that's pretty much it. Beautiful car. I right, see. You.